Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And we have some amazing announcements this week, including that there's a new console experience for Direct Connect. AWS Code Commit supports VPC endpoints. You can now carry out penetration testing without prior approval on eight different AWS services. And we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Cronenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So there's a new console for Direct Connect. And if you've not used Direct Connect before, it's your own private dedicated network connection from your data center or your office or your colo space directly into AWS. And it's designed to reduce bandwidth costs and provide consistent network performance. And this new console provides a streamlined user experience. It was being completely redesigned, giving you a truly global experience and allowing you to create and manage Direct Connect connections all across the globe from one place. This means you don't have to go in and change regions like you had to do in the old console. So you get a single global point of view of all your Direct Connect connections. You can now access AWS Code Commit from your VPC using VPC endpoints. And if you haven't used Code Commit before, it's a fully managed source control service which supports Git-based repositories. And you can now access your Code Commit repo using a VPC endpoint which is a special network interface which serves as an entry point into an AWS service. So traffic destined for the code commit endpoint never leaves the Amazon network. So it's a really secure way to use code commit because you're never sending your code over the internet. And this is going to be great for customers working in a secure environment which needs to be isolated from the internet. So in big news this week, AWS customers can now carry out their own security assessments or penetration testing against their own AWS infrastructure without the need for prior approval. And this has been rolled out to eight different services and includes widely used services like EC2 instances, NAT gateways, Elastic Load Balancers, Lambda, API Gateway, and CloudFront. And this capability is still in preview right now and you will need to complete an NDA before conducting any security assessments. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was A, and lots of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Tom Kringstad. And Tom is a senior sales engineer at Sixtera Technologies in Texas. So congratulations, Tom. There's an A Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and a hand signed card on the way to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent for 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that is all from us. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud Gurus. And we'll see you next time.